Unveiling the spark. Understanding, set off fireworks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a vibrant expression. Set off fireworks. This phrase is not just about bright displays in the sky, but it's a part of language that can add color to your conversations. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it effectively. In the most basic sense, to set off fireworks, refers to the act of igniting fireworks to cause them to explode. Fireworks are small explosive devices used for entertainment, often displaying various colors and patterns when ignited. This activity is popular during celebrations, festivals, and significant events like New Year's Eve or Independence Day. Here, the focus is on the physical action of starting the firework display. Beyond its literal meaning, set off fireworks can be used metaphorically. In a figurative sense, it implies causing excitement, drama, or a significant reaction in a situation. For example, announcing surprising news at a family gathering might set off fireworks, metaphorically speaking. This usage highlights the emotional or dramatic impact of an action, resembling the awe and surprise we experience with actual fireworks. Let's see how this phrase works in different contexts. 1. Literal, they set off fireworks to celebrate the new year. 2. Figurative, his unexpected resignation really set off fireworks in the office. In these examples, the first shows the standard use related to actual fireworks, while the second demonstrates its metaphorical use, indicating a stir or commotion caused by an event. When using, set off fireworks, remember, it's often used in past tense, set off, in storytelling. In a figurative context, it's best used in situations with strong reactions or emotions. Be aware of the cultural context, as fireworks have different significances in different cultures. That's all for today's lesson on, set off fireworks. We hope this brightens up your English vocabulary and adds a spark to your conversations. Don't forget to practice using it in both its literal and figurative senses. See you in the next video, and keep learning with enthusiasm!